Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and this is our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 485. Welcome! Welcome to everybody who's new. Welcome to all of you who've been with us for quite some time. We're just excited to be here. And if you're joining me on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. sunny California time, 10 a.m. Central or 11 a.m. Eastern, we are live chatting. So if you see a live chat going on over here, by all means type in hello, hello, and wahoo ka -choo. Now also we ask that you subscribe to our channel. There's a little heart with an SMS over here and we would love to have you as a follower. That way you get updates when we do live chats and new YouTubes are loaded as we are doing three, a cl three classes, three YouTubes a week. We have our Make It Monday event, we have a Thursday event, and then our Saturdays with Stacy. So three opportunities to live chat, three opportunities to see new products, three opportunities to learn techniques and, and really expand your creative horizons and maybe get the most out of product you already own. Okay, I have a few things today. First off, we're gonna be playing with Couture Creations. I've got their Stays In Place ink that I wanna show you. It's alcohol ink, but it's a little different than most, definitely. <laughs> I have got a product here, one product, one from a company called Third Quarter. They're out of Australia. And the funny thing is, is that I saw this product and I wanted it, but they, but, but there was only so much. There was a little bit and then I ordered it. And then they, some they'd get a little more in and then I'd order it. And then they'd get a little more in and then I'd order it. So I had to, I had to wait until I had enough to do a class with it. And now I finally do. So I'm excited about that. I've got some amazing things from Creative Expressions and Spellbinders at Wahoo Kachu Pricing. We're going to be playing with vellum and dyes and stamps and this slightly unusual alcohol ink from Couture Creations. But before we get there, I have winner winner chicken dinner to do. So if if you are a regular viewer, you know that if you post a comment below, below me, look down, and there's a place to put a comment, not part of the live chat, but if you post a comment, every week we pick two winner winner chicken dinners to win a $25 gift card to Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now your comment can be about anything. It can be about your day, your family, your fur babies, your work, your crafting, what you're working on, anything as long as it is kind. It, kindness goes a long way and it is so free. It doesn't cost you a dime. So post a nice happy comment about anything that makes your heart happy. That will make my heart happy. SMS guy James will approve the comment so you won't see it right away, but he'll approve the comment and then you go into the running to be a $25 winner winner chicken dinner and you never, never know when I'm going to call your name. I'm pretty sure that these two ladies had no clue that this was their week. <laughs> Happy day for them. Are we ready? Our first winner winner chicken dinner is Debbie. Debbie Nix. Hello, Debbie Nix. There you are. Congratulations to you. You are a winner winner chicken dinner. Wahoo ka -choo. I'm so happy for you. Our second winner winner is May. May Simmons. Hello, May. Is that you? Congratulations, May. I'm very happy for you as well. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how long you and Debbie, May and Debbie, have been posting comments. It could, this could have been their first YouTube ever. And they posted a comment last week and they won right away. Or they could have been posting comments for eight years. <laughs> You just never know when our random software is going to pick you. But when it does, the winner winner chicken dinner dance is absolutely a requirement. Now, I can't stand up to do it because I, I do. I like to dance. I'm a dancer. I like to dance. <laughs> but since I'm also my own camera person, I can't stand up to do it because then I can't move the camera. I can go up and I can go down. That is the extent of my, my capabilities with a video camera. <laughs> so I'm going to sit down. You, May, and you, Debbie, are going to stand up right now and let's do the winner, winner, chicken dinner dance. Are you ready? You're a winner. 
chicken dinner, you're a winner. Chicken dinner, wahoo, cut you for you. So congratulations to both of you. We're very excited for you. Your $25 is already in your online account. Go find something that makes your heart happy. Maybe it's some of this. Maybe it's Stacy tape. M maybe it's a die that, that was out of your price range before, but now that you've got $25 to spend on it, you can get something that you weren't going to get before. You might not have been able to afford before. Use it and enjoy it. Compliments of Scrapbooking Made Simple. Now, before I get started today, I have a few little announcements, a few little announcements, nothing, nothing major. Uh, we have started processing and filling the December 24th Christmas Eve Simply Defined Blowout. So we have started those orders, filling them. It's a very big week. You all took advantage of all of those dies on sale that you know, some of them we had like three of, and some of them we had 12 of, and some of them we had 40 of, some of them we had more. Some of them I loved my designs more than you did, but you know, like that happens. <laughs> so it is going to take time to fill all of those orders, as I said, but I did say that we would start by the 16th and we did start. So as we are filling those orders, just be patient. Some of them are really big and we'll get them out to you. I hope to have them all shipped, can't guarantee it, but I hope to have them all shipped by February 16th, about a month to fill that whole week. It's gonna take some time and there's only one person we have that's able to do it. So for that, hang on. You've been loving the Make It Mondays. I'm so excited. The last one we had was Sizzix, wow. The next one I have for you on Monday is Spellbinders. Wow, when you're going to get like $80 to $100 worth of value for $19.99, amazing. And so pay, you know, keep it, keep your eye out for the, the Make It Monday uh, sneak peek that'll be coming up probably Monday morning. And of course, always our Thursday expedited sales. The last one we did was our first one this past Thursday was with Creative Expressions. It was Express Your Creativity with Creative Expressions. Who comes up with those names? I do. <laughs> Say yes to Spellbinders was me, and I and and and, and Spectacular Sizzix Savings Event is me. So um so the the first one we did with Creative Expressions, I they had six bundles. It was a lot, but it was a lot of fabulousness. And so if you haven't checked that out, by all means, there is a playlist on this channel where you can you can go down and you can see the Make It Mondays and the Thursday expedited sales. Okay, so also, what else do I have for you? All right, so a few things. I'm pulling them over. I received something in the, I received two things in the mail. So cards, we yay, we put your cards out. When you guys mail us something, we'll put your cards out in the store and use them as beautiful samples in the store, absolutely. So this past week, I got this card Look at how cute it is, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, look like a technique that we've done before, you bet it is. And inside, now it was sent with a photograph. I'm not gonna show the photograph because I don't have permission to do so. And, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna have, take the liberty to, to just assume I can. That would be wrong. <laughs> and let me tell you, oh. I learned about wrong this past week. That's a whole nother story, but I, I yeah. So maybe I'll, maybe, maybe one time I'll, uh, coming up, I'll tell you about the experience we've had the past week. Hmm. Okay, but inside this beautiful card, I digress, let me get back. Inside this beautiful card is a lovely little message sending you a little smile. Thank you for all the inspiration from Dorothy, age seven. Dorothy, hello! Say hi to your mom, okay? <laughs> now, I have never met Dorothy or her mom live and in person, but we have spoken on the phone because I answer the phones here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, absolutely. And, um, and look at how darling and Dorothy made it herself. And she signed the back, absolutely precious and so very much appreciated. So Dorothy, thank you so, so much. And I love the picture of you in your Christmas dress. I did not have a little girl. I had two boys. 
I would have loved to have been able to dress a little girl up. You look adorable. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. All right, the next thing I got, the next thing I got is from a customer, a local customer who shops here. His name is Michael. He's not my Michael, he's a local customer. And I remember the first time that he walked into our store. I think I was at my demo cart and probably working on something, who knows what I was doing. And he came in and, you know, a guy walking into a crafting store isn't, isn't necessarily rare, but it's not overly common either. So sometimes they're coming in picking stuff up for their wives or they're looking for a birthday present. And you know, and I, I asked him, how can I help you? And he, he's like, I'm, I'm looking around. And, um, and, <laughs> and I started to try and engage a conversation and I learned that he did hand calligraphy and it just really great crafter, just a really great crafter. And I asked his name and his name was Michael. And I said, I'm Stacy. And he, he did some shopping and then he left, but he came back. I didn't know if he was gonna come back. He came back and when he walked through the door, the first thing I said is, Michael, how are you doing? And and I was gonna win that man over. I was, I was, and I am so glad I did. He has become such a good friend, really good friend. And he'll come into the store every now and then. And he, okay, so we're gonna play, we're gonna play <laughs> a drinking game. I only drink coffee and and water and and think no this is not a drinking alcohol game no 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 this is get your this is get your tea or get your coffee or your orange juice or your your soda whatever makes your heart happy because <laughs> he says you should play a drinking game Stacy sometimes you say the same word again and again and again <laughs> so this week's drinking word would be Ellie <laughs> our dog Ellie there's the sirens our dog Ellie because I got in the mail I'm like what is this I got in the mail socks <laughs> from Michael <laughs> they have Ellie Ellie's face all over oh that was two right there they have El three Ellie's face all over them he must have gone to our Facebook my Facebook and grabbed some shots of Ellie and had them printed on socks. <laughs> Michael, I absolutely, I love them. In fact, I was told today that because I'm kind of in purple and they're kind of purple, my sister-in-law Kelly and my niece, my niece Jessie said, I really should wear them. Actually, what they said was that I should take them out. <laughs> Let me see if I can get them off. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> Michael, you're crazy. He's got such a good sense of humor. <laughs> I have a little peeps, a little peeps cup on my desk because he saw that and, and I always call you my SMS peeps. So my, my niece and my, my sister-in-law said that I should have made them into, since I won't wear them, they said I should have made them into a sock puppet. Oh, like little eyes and, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hi, Stacy. Hi, Michael. We love our we we love our gift. Thank you very very much. It was very cute and very clever of you, Michael. And uh, I know Ellie will enjoy it. So I don't know how many times you all have had to pick up your coffee so far because I've said Ellie a few times. But you know, coffee, tea, soda—that's as hard as I go. <laughs> all right. So those are my announcements for today. I'm gonna tilt on down. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna welcome you to the Scrapbooking Made Simple channel. Our videos are unscripted, unedited, and what you see is what you get. And I'm going to try and show you some beautiful things to do, some techniques, some new products, and hopefully give you the, the inspiration and the courage to maybe try. Who knows? Try. You might just like it. <laughs> All right, down I go. Let me show you some samples. Ready? Down we go. Bye. And uh, you know, I don't know what we're going to do about that one. When we get to 500, that also was a gift, not from Michael, but from Mark. I don't know what I'm gonna do, Mark. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, we're gonna have to get, cause we're counting down to 500. And that one says over 400 YouTubes. So uh, again, a, a very nice customer sent that to me. We're gonna have to get like a little, a little sticker to go over it that says over 500 YouTubes. <laughs> 
but the minute the minute it came in it went up <laughs> all right down i go bye oh well then i should also say my beautiful little necklace here came from i mean anyway cards are fabulous thank you for the cards gifts were <laughs> cards are amazing <laughs> all right down we go all right uh let's see zoom 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 yeah 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 push the right button stacy 10 percent i just have to be 10 percent smarter than my video camera and let me tell you folks that's a challenge sometimes the video camera can stump the best of me i mean really <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'll have to tell you we we worked with um we worked with the NCIS crew this past week and um um at CBS and at some point I'm gonna have to tell you the story because it's a story. Woohoo! All right, so <laughs> so cards. Look at how cute is this. I want you to see. Do you see the shimmer in that ink? And this is on vellum. Isn't that a great looking sample? And the stamp set, oh my gosh, I've got the stamp set out of smoking hot price. And then another, right? Amazing. This is a die and stamp set. Yep, yep, yep. And then last but not least, these came out of a vellum pack of paper that I had to hoard. I would buy some, they'd get it back in stock, I'd buy it all. They'd get some more in stock, I'd buy it all. They'd get some more in stock, I'd buy it all, and I finally have enough to do a YouTube with it. <laughs> Yay! Beautiful, isn't it, right? Okay, so I'm gonna put these aside, and I think where I'm going to start today is with the, is with the inks. I think that's where I'm going to start today. I haven't, maybe I'll pull a couple colors and see what we've got. Um, and how about, how about, I don't know, let's, do we wanna see what the copper looks like? Okay, so I have got, and they've got SMS all over the front of them because they're the ones we used to make the samples. I have got inks from Couture Creations out of Australia. They're calling them they call them stays in place is the name of the ink. And it's an alcohol based ink, similar to a stays on, absolutely similar to a stays on ink. You've got, you've got your ink pad, you've got your bottle of alcohol ink. And when you get your ink pad, these have been used, but yours is, oh, this one hasn't been used. How fabulous is that? Yours is going to come completely dry. There's nothing on it. This, this is not a re-inker. You own, it's kind of like the essentials glue. You only put enough on, you only put enough on to, to do the project that you're working on. And then you've got this little spatula that you then move it around to kind of get it on there and a little topper to keep it from getting dried out. So the little topper you definitely don't want to lose and the little spatula too you don't want to lose. Now it is meant to be kind of a, a, a stays on type product and he has, I'm only launching 12 colors right now. I want to say there's 45 colors maybe. Ah, there's a lot of colors I'm going to tell you. So I want you to notice that there's a glitter to them or a sheen. I don't know that it actually glitters. I think it more sheens than glitters. It has more of a pearl essence. And when you're thinking about alcohol ink, alcohol ink tends to be very loose. It's very liquidy. You can drip, drip, drop. This, this tends to be a little thicker. And I'm not gonna shake it yet, but it, you do want to eventually you want to shake it because it's got this it's got this pearl essence that also gets mixed in with the straight color can you see the difference so here see see up here all of that pearl essence but over here it's just straight color so so using this you're able to use it as a stamp pad like your stays on but so many more colors than what Stays On has. We carry the Stays On minis, and I'm not giving the minis up, they're great pads, but I only have 12 colors, and they don't have a sheen to them. Couture Creations, like I said, has about 40, 48 colors, and including metallics. Like, 
like the copper. So I've got a copper and I've got a, a rose gold and I've got a bronze and I've got a silver and I've got an antique gold. I mean, there's just a ton of different colors that I can't get in a stays on product. But because he's done it this way, you can use it as regular alcohol ink or you can ink up your ink pad and stamp with it. And you're like, yeah, but Stacy, I've tried to stamp with alcohol ink and it's really kind of thin. I know, that's where this is a little different. It's, it is, it's a thicker type of medium. Now, do I shake this one or do I not? Do I shake it or do I not? If I don't shake it, what happens is that I get, let's grab a piece of paper. And let's see what I can do. So if I don't shake it right away and I just drip, 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 let's see what I drip, drip, drip. So if I don't shake it, I kind of drip, 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 and there's my color. Let's see what happens when I do shake it. Can you hear it's got that little bearing ball in there? Because you really want to mix up all of that amazing pearlescence. I want to give it a good shake and get it all mixed together. So now I can see that at the top it's getting mixed in. I don't have that dark color. Let's see what happens if I if I go now. So now I've got to, let's get it moved around so it'll dry a little bit. Now I absolutely have a pearl, this one flat, flat color. This one shimmery and shiny pearlescent. And it's a little thicker once you mix in, once you shake it up and get that pearlescent mixed with the base color. It makes it, yeah, now you can really see, look at that sheen. So just the ink and then after I shake it. So you have options with this because it's almost like you get two in one. If you have this in your stash, the colors are going to separate again. The pearlescent is always going to be heavier than the base color. So the base color is going to separate to the top and the pearlescent is going to hang towards the bottom. So if you pull this out and you just drop, 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 maybe you just want base color without any sparkle or shine. Great, don't shake it up. But what if you do want the sparkle and shine? Great, shake it up. And that's if you're using it as an alcohol ink on your Yupo or your Duralar or your Vellum or whatever it is you're doing it on. But because it's a little bit thicker when you shake it up, it makes for a great ink on a stamp pad. Sometimes alcohol ink is just too too thin it just it doesn't it doesn't work well on a stamp pad or using it for stamping so this once you've got that that heavier pearlescence mixed into it is fabulous on a stamp pad i'm going to put this over here and hold this for just a minute and i'm going to pull out another color let's see i've got the pink here let's see what we got with the pink so i don't have I don't have a pink stays on ink. There isn't a midi in a pink. And we've always, you know, it's a beautiful color. We love the color, but we couldn't get the color. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna shake it. I'm gonna let it stand for just a minute. And let's see, let's see if I get more base color than anything else. So very much a base color because I didn't really, sh I didn't shake it.
Now let's give it a real good shake, shake, shake and see what we get. So today we're gonna use these as both. We're gonna use them as a stamp pad and as straight alcohol ink. In fact, we're going to paint with them. We're gonna daub with them. We're just gonna do a ton of stuff. Let's see what I can get, get, get. You think that, see, I can still see. Can you see that there's still quite a bit of pearlescence down there? So I'm gonna give it a little bit more of a shake. And this one did have a little bit of pearlescence. But let's see if my next one is even more. And a little is gonna go a long way. Oh, it's so much thicker. So much thicker. Oh yeah, look at the difference. This one had a little bit of pearlescence to it, but it was pretty much the straight color at the top, whereas this one, wow. Holy smokes, artichokes, and that is alcohol ink. This is not a dye-based ink. This is an alcohol-based ink, which means it is ideal for vellum and plastic and metal and glass and anything that is non-porous. You can also use it, yes, on paper, sure, but it is also intended for non-porous materials. You wouldn't be able to take a dye-based ink like this, a uh, dye-based memento or a hero arts or, gosh, I'm trying to think of who else makes dye-based ink, Tim Holtz. Those, those, those dye-based products from those companies will not go on plastic and metal and glass. No, they're meant for a porous material. But alcohol ink kind of gives you the best of both worlds, especially since this is a thicker alcohol ink. That means when I put it on my stamp pad, it's got a little bit of sus uh, substance to it, a little bit of weight to it, so that it will allow my, my stamp pad to pick it up, my, my stamp to pick it up and cling so I can stamp down. And same thing, this one's been used. Boy, has this one been used. But we've got the stamp pad. The girls probably had something black. We've got the stamp pad. I've got my little, my little uh, cover to keep it from drying out. And my little spatula to go back and forth. I wanna see what some of the metallics look like. So I'm gonna hold on to this and I'm gonna hold on to that. I think I'm just gonna move those over here. And I will get to use it in just a minute, but I really want you to understand the ink before I play, I mean, you'll, you'll see it as I play with it, what it's capable of. But let's see, what did I say? I had, I had, I had rose gold. Let's see if it's really rose gold. Time will tell. Put that one over there. And maybe, let's see the difference between rose gold and bronze and copper. Should we see what the difference is between those three? Now the price, I can't remember, is it, I th the price, I think we have it for nine, I think it's 9.75 less 20%. And that's for the pad and the ink. I know quite often you'll pay 5.99 just for the ink, but if you can get a pad to go with it, well, that's a happy day, right? I mean, if you've got a, an empty an empty stamp pad, even if you didn't use it with this ink, you could cover this up and use it with something else for sure, but you're not paying much more to get the pad as well. So I'm gonna take these out and we're gonna see what they look like. And do I have a pen? I do, yes, thank you very much. So so let's do, let's do, rose gold. So I'm not gonna shake the rose gold because right now it's separated and you can see the separation. See how all this is white, <laughs> but over here it's dark. I'm gonna just drop, drop, drop and let's see what we get in rose gold. That's a pretty color. So there's my rose gold without the pearlescence. It's a very pretty color. I actually would say that that, that, that might be a rose gold. 
Rose gold is tricky. Sometimes it's more coppery than it is rose. <laughs> Let's give a shake, shake, shake and see what we get. Yeah, good. Okay. And drop, drop. A little goes a long way with these. Oh, see, it, I'm going to tell you, it feels creamy. So now you've got the base color with the sheen on top of it. Look at the difference. And you don't have to choose. You can have both with one, one color. It just depends upon whether you shake it or you don't. Whether you shake, 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 baby, or you don't. Oh, I hear my phone buzzing. Sorry, give me just a second to tell them. Turn my phone off, Stacy. Let's just turn it off. Okay, so now they know my phone is off. Yay. Okay, so then the next one, let's see what we've got for the next one. Let's do, how about copper? And I'm gonna go copper. And I'm not going to shake. I'm just going to grab some of the color. That's one drop. Oh, okay. That is, that's a very pretty color. These are beautiful colors. And then let's do a shake, shake, shake. So if that's one drop, you can imagine how long these can last you if you're using them as a traditional alcohol ink. And if you shake, 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 can you use them as a traditional alcohol ink? Absolutely. It's going to add a shimmer and a shine to your project. Let's get that pearlescent. So the box that it comes in, the packaging kind of has a glittery to it, but it's not glittery. It's pearlescent. We're... All right, I say we, we're good. Let's give it a whirl. Okay, so there's definitely a difference between the rose gold and the copper without question. And I would agree with both of those colors. Sometimes I'm like, eh. I actually see rose gold there, or copper there. Now let's try bronze because sometimes bronze and copper also get confused. So let's write bronze. So we're going to release these slowly but surely. I'm doing 12 now and we'll slowly but surely release all the colors. But to release all of them at one time I think is just too much. So this is my bronze. Ooh. Okay, that was two drops. That was a lot. I could have gone with one. Look at how deep and rich that. Now those three colors look amazing together. <laughs> that was a happy accident. And then let's shake, shake, shake. So if you don't buy alcohol inks because you're not a spouncer and you don't do the Tim Holtz alcohol inky thing, not, yeah, okay, got it. But my gosh, if you're a stamper and you like pearlescent -y ink and you want to be able to stamp not only paper, but you want to do acetate and vellum, well, this is, this is your choice. This is a great medium because you get two for the price of one. You think I've got it? I only did one drop this time. I was so worried about it <laughs> being too much. Okay. So you would think that these came out of separate pads, that they were perhaps coordinating with each other, that you could have this one or you could have this one. But in fact, it's out of the same bottle. It's just a matter of whether you shake or you don't, right? Are you a shaker or not? <laughs> 
Okay, so I think that gives you kind of an overview of what this ink is. And we know alcohol ink, you know, stays on tends to be sticky, and so is this. It tends to be a little stickier, tackier, which means then you can add foils and glitters to it. We might add some glitters to one of ours. I've got I've got some glitter out here. And yes, they have it in black. In fact, they have it in matte black. They have it in a pearlescent black. So I'm going to play with that again. I'm going to play with the matte black today. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is pull out pull out a die set. Well, I have two. So these are from Creative Expressions. I'm going to let you know that this is discontinued product. Like dis discontinued product. The stamps especially. When I picked these, when I went and I purchased these, they had more dies than they did stamps, but I wanted to sell it to you as a bundle. So Creative Expressions was kind enough to make more stamps and still sell them to me at the discounted price so I could offer you the stamp and die bundle. It is the only way we are selling these as the stamp and die bundle, but they are on a Holy Smokes Artichokes price. And what's inside is a beautiful, this is a Sue Wilson die, beautiful die. You've got the main die, and then you've got the frame, and that frame goes with this stamp set, and you're like, wait, what? I didn't get that. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these out, and we're gonna die cut really quick so you can see what the die does, but then we're really gonna work with the stamp set. All right, so I've got a frame die. I've got what I call a decor die. Come on. I've got what I call a decor die. And why do I call it a decor die? Because there is no cut line on the outside edge. That means that this is going to cut a design into a piece of paper, but it's not going to cut the design out of a piece of paper. For that, you need to incorporate the frame die that goes with it. And then same thing here. This is a decor die, it's going to cut in. This is a frame die to get that piece out should you want it out. So let's just take, um, let's just take, I've got my white paper here. And you think I can get, oh yeah, I can get two of these out of there. So first things first, I'm just going to, take the decor die and cut in so you can see what I'm talking about. Normally with a die you would think that this is going to cut the whole piece out, but it isn't. It's going to cut this design inside. So being that this is intricate, I'm going to use my precision base plate. So let's bring my Big Shot machine on over. I've got my Sizzix Big Shot machine. And I absolutely, without question, am going to need my precision base plate. Now, a precision base plate is a tool that you use with your Big Shot machines, mainly with your standard Big Shot machine or your Switch machine or your Vagabond machine. They generally don't recommend it for a Big Shot Plus or a fold away because the calibration of the roller underneath and how much pressure that roller is able to do with those two machines is a little different than their Big Shot, their Switch, or their Vagabond. However, over time, every machine kind of loosens up. <laughs> it gets loose, <laughs> no judgment. And, um, and you may at some point need to use a precision base plate. So I've got my, I've got my platform that the machine comes with, I've got my solo shim that comes with the machine. I've got my precision base plate with the chrome side up. I don't want to be able to read the directions. If I'm gonna die cut and I can read the directions, I need you to stop and flip it over. This is going to act as the bottom plate to my, to my die. Usually there's a clear plate down here, and this time the precision base plate is what we're going to use because it's going to force this die and these little edges 
just these little edges that don't, they don't cut you, they don't hurt you. Those are what is going to cut the paper. And then I do need a top plate. So I'm gonna use one of my my six inch top plates from the multi-pack and I love the multi-pack. I wish I had thought of it, I wish I had brought it to them, I wish that it was mine. And then I'm gonna send it on through. Now I may have to do a rotate, I might not. I'm a girl who would rather just rotate it and send it back to make sure, although since it's in there, I could pick it up. Oh yeah, it looks like it cut beautifully. Can you see all that cut detail in there? But just to be sure, I'm just gonna rotate it and send it on back. It's not gonna hurt it. And anything that didn't get cut the first time will now get cut the second time. My paper's a little wide. That's okay, there we go. So now what most of you would expect if you're new to die cutting is that this whole piece would pop right out, but nope. This is a decor die and it cuts in. And because of that precision base plate, look at all the little bits and pieces that just fell right out. Little bits and pieces that just fell right out. This one, it's like my dies. Lots of little bits and pieces. <laughs> but the only way to get the beautiful intricacy is to have small cuts. Okay. Uh, do I have a piece of black paper? Hello. So now you can see that it cut in. If I want to cut this die out, all right, you guys, any idea, of, any guess of how much is this going to make it into Mr. SMS's trash can? I tell you, with little Ellie here, I'm trying to do more and I'm trying to be more accurate because little Ellie stays upstairs with Michael. I'm trying to be more accurate in my aim. <laughs> okay. So if I wanted to cut this piece out so that the entire thing came out, I would then take the frame die. And magically that frame die fits right around it. And that's going to allow me to cut it out. But I still have, hmm, I still have the two additional pieces. If I want to cut out the center, I would use those two. If I wanted to cut more detail into the center and finish the design, I would cut that one. Let's just do that. Let's cut that one. And then we'll cut them. Okay. I want to see what's on the inside of here. Oh, look it. So here's the packaging, but when you open it, look it, you've got samples. Very nice. And in fact, that's the stamp that goes with it that I'm going to show you shortly. That's a nice little added bonus, right? So I'm going to bring my machine back over, and this time I'm going to cut that extra little detail. Now you may want to leave it just like this and put a sentiment in there. I don't know. But you don't have to if you don't want to. You have options. I'm just gonna center it to the best of my ability. The older I get. <laughs> I just have to tilt my head every now and then to make it look centered. <laughs> and let me send it on through. Okay, and I think it's small enough that if I just bring it back without rotating, I'll be okay. Yep. Wow, look at the detail on that. Look at all the look at all the little bits and pieces left in there. Wow, wow, wow. So now that 
that's what I've got. Do you think we should color this? Um, what if I took, I think I'll just color it. What if I took some of the alcohol ink? Hmm, hmm, hmm. What if I took some of the alcohol ink? And maybe the yellow, because I love me some yellow. And this is the first time I've got I've got ink in yellow. <laughs> That's an alcohol ink. And maybe the pink. And maybe the maybe the blue. I don't know. We'll see. Let's open it and Worst that can happen is it's only paper because it is only paper. You've got scratch paper this size. It is only paper. And I'll start with my lightest color. And I think I'm not even gonna stamp with it yet. Do we want it to be pearlescent or do we not? I'm gonna take a spouncer and I'm gonna add a little, now I'm on paper. This is nothing, this is not plastic or Yupo or Duralar and I have no idea what's gonna happen. All we can do is try. And this is not a, uh, a, a felt. This is a foam. And if I just came around. Okay. That was easy enough. I added some color. I didn't do I didn't do the, the oh, the, wow, that's pretty. It's got a little bit of the iridescence, but I didn't shake it up. I'm gonna put a little pink on here. Now the pink still feels a little, that it's still got a little bit of the pearlescent. Nope, I need more pink than that. And I think I need to spray spread it out more. Maybe a bit more yellow. So I'm just using it as a regular ink right now. I think I got a drop on there. But yeah, I sure did. And this is felt. And should we add some blue just to see? I know I'm a little nervous too. Just to see. I'm going to need more blue than that if I want it to come through. Hmm. Okay, I'm not I'm not angry with it. <laughs> I just want to go a little bit more around the outside because I know we're going to cut. Hmm, I'm not angry with it. And I'm not shaking because I don't want too much of the pearlescent. I just want it to be straight color. Hmm. You get a little bit of pearlescent from it, but let's die cut it out. Let's see. Lid. 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 Everybody should be so proud of me with that right now. That was an accomplishment. <laughs> let's just put these here and let's die cut. So I was just, oh, and you can see, you can see where the pearlescent came through because there's just a little bit in there. You can see it on the black. Let's die cut out. 
And you saw I didn't change my sponge, I just kept going. And it's not the felt, it's the foamy that I'm doing. Not the felt, because I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to really spounce. I'm more blending than I am anything else. And if you want to reactivate that color a little bit, you can. You just use a little bit of hand sanitizer, spray it right in there, and you will kind of reactivate that color. You kind of blend them together, and then you can add a little bit more if you want. All right, let's die cut. And this time, I am going to use the frame because I'm trying to get the whole piece out. Ooh, look at how pretty! <laughs> Yay! Now, this is not intricate at all. This is an open frame die. That's what I call them. I named them that. I don't know what they're really called, but it's open. See, I can stick my whole hand through there. It's almost like a little bracelet. That is completely different. Oh, I hear something. Got a delivery. That is completely different from this die, which is very intricate. I mean, there's lots of little details and, and petals and all those fallout pieces where this is as plain Jane as you can get. So I do not need my precision base plate. You're going to want to take this off because if you run it through, if you run a die like this through with a precision base plate, the pressure is so great it will warp your die. Is that a problem? No. Does it hurt your die? No. Does it freak you out a little bit? Yes. <laughs> You're like, oh my gosh, my die is now warped. And even without the precision base plate, this die is thin. It may warp a little bit. But don't worry. Have no fear. The die is still going to work. So I brought over my other multi-size platform. I've got my die. You absolutely could use a magnetic platform if you wanted. I'm just going to hold my breath and go go for it. Again, I'm using a piece of just white scratch paper that you have sitting around in your scratch paper file and you don't know what to do with. Look at how I colored it. Easy peasy. And send it through. Now this should be just a one and done roll because that die is so simple. Bam! Hello! There's my extra. There's my die. There's my die cut. And remember, I had this one too. Do we want to cut out that center? Maybe you want to pop that center. Maybe you look at it and you go, yeah, no, I don't think I want that center there anymore. Okay, we can get rid of it. We can change it. We can do something more with it. Send it on through. And now I have cut it out. Let's just put those there. So because the alcohol ink is a little different than most, you have you have a little more option than most. You almost have two colors in every one bottle. And that is, that's that, when you can get a twofer, well, why wouldn't you? Now I'm just cutting the frame. That's all I'm cutting is the frame. Why am I doing that? And I don't care if it's straight or not, I just need to be sure that it's on the black paper. And it doesn't need to go forward and back. This is an easy cut. Come on. Now I have that. 
Super easy cut. And if I wanted to cut the hole out of the black, line that on up, send it on through. If I wanted to put this back and pop it up, use some pop dots to pop it up. If I wanted to cut this in a, let's see. Oh, I don't think that was wide enough. Nope, let's try again. What if you wanted to use this for a little sentiment, but you wanted it backed on the black? Hmm, could almost use that for something too, but. All right. Did I go all the way? No, I did. <laughs> I'm like, did I get it all the way there? I'm not sure. Now you've got this piece that you can inlay here. Have the black back, the white center to stamp on. Or, let's see if there's still some ink if I can restore it just a little bit or I could take that white maybe add just a little bit of hand sanitizer to it And now I've got a solid color center. Tons to be done with the dies. Tons to be done. But we brought them in for the stamp sets. You're like, really? But I like the die. I know, but there's a matching stamp set to go with it. Let's put these over here right now so I remember where I put them. Let's see, here's the matching stamp set. So it is a rubber die with a cling. This is not sticky, not sticky at all. You're gonna peel off the piece of paper and that is going to allow you to grab a block. Let's get an acrylic block. This is an acrylic block and we sell it, it's by Couture Creations comes with five blocks. It retails, I think they raised the price to $15, but even $15 is an amazing value because you get one, two, three, four, five blocks and the little foamy storage. I know I know companies that, that have this one block for $15. So it's an amazing value. Your stamp is going to cling just like just like those decals when you were a little kid and you'd or you had little kids and you'd decorate your windows with with jack-o-lanterns or fall leaves or snowflakes or hearts you know they didn't have any sticky on them they just clung to the window that's how this works so let's hmm what color do we want to stamp in <laughs> <laughs> What if, and is that going to be big enough or do I need to go bigger? No, oh, but I cut into this one. All right, we'll save that piece of white paper for maybe later. Let's just cut myself another piece. And let's go, let's go zoop. There we go.
and probably get away with half of that. Okay, so what color do we want to stamp it? Hmm. Uh, I could stamp in black with the stays on, absolutely, or the stays in place. And, but let's do it in a, let's do it in I don't know, let's do it in the bronze. Bronze. Now remember, your pad's going to come completely dry, empty, no color. And I, I don't know that I'm going to shake, shake, shake. Maybe I leave it. Let's add some color. Let's add some drops. And then let's take our little our little spatula and kind of move it around. We'll see if that was enough. Time will tell. Let's ink up. hard for me to know if I've got enough on there until I stamp once. Let's flip it over and give a good press. Now you're not going to do chest compressions. That's not really going to help you. You do need to give good all over pressure. If you're using a stamp positioner, you have a little bit of a, a helping hand because if you miss a spot, you can go back and stamp on top of it. If you don't want to, if you don't want to use your hands, I usually go the corners and kind of in the center. You can always flip your stamp over. Hopefully I don't double, oh, I probably just double stamped, okay. Oh, but I got a good, I got a pretty good impression. You can always flip your stamp over and do a back massage as well. So let's just do that. And this time maybe I will, I think I've got enough room. That close, close, close. This time, maybe I'll use it and I will shake it up so that we have the pearlescent going on. And I will stamp upside down this time. So, I want to give that bearing a good opportunity to really incorporate that pearlescent. And take us, did you see? I put my little, my little cover on it right away. I'm going to drop, 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 and I can see the pearlescent in it now. I mean, I can see the pearlescent. And kind of feels a little sticky. And let's see what we get. I'm just going to drop my paper right on top. Oh, I've pushed where I shouldn't have. All right. And give a good back rub. Oh, no, I did good. I didn't push. Oh, that came out really good. Can you see the sheen and the shine? Oh, that came out really pretty. Does the ink harm the stamp? No. Does it harm clear stamps? No. I can take my hand sanitizer and kind of spritz, spritz, spritz to clean my stamp. And call it good. Now I can leave it just like that because that is very, very pretty. 
but I can also paint if I want. If I want to add a little bit of color to it, I can absolutely go in there and I can paint. So if I've got, let's take that rose gold because that was very sweet. And I want to add a little bit of color to him. And I'm not going to shake, shake, shake. But I can just put a couple drops of my rose gold right on my paper or right on my pad and get my brush maybe just a little wet right now it's dry 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 a little wet and then I can go in and I can pick this up I know it's alcohol ink but it's pretty cool alcohol ink You could certainly palette paint with any of your any of your markers, your Violet Studio markers, your Tombow markers. But I could go, I'm still gonna I'm getting some of the shimmer. I could go in there and I could palette paint him a little bit if I wanted to just add a little bit of color. I should have put one drop, two is way too much. And I could grab, I know I've got green here. And I can decide if I want shimmer or not. Put a drop of my green, and I've learned one drop is enough. I mean, literally, can you imagine how long this is gonna last you? And let's go in there and pick up some of my green, and then I could go in and maybe just do a few of these little, do some of the leaves. And yeah, this is alcohol ink. This isn't something we normally do on paper with alcohol ink. But you can. Instead of using a, an alcohol ink marker, I just go in there and start adding my color. You have options. And then let's not forget, you've got the die to cut the whole thing out. Now you can't use this die with the stamp and think that this is going to line up so that you're going to be able to see the image behind it. That's really not how it works. This is its this makes its own design. And then if you want to use the stamp, there's the frame for it. So I have two stamp and die combos for you. And we're very thankful to Creative Expressions for manufacturing a few more of the stamps so I could offer them to you. They had plenty of the die, boy. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. They had plenty of the die, but not a lot of the stamps, and I wanted the set. And Lizanne was just wonderful about it. Oh, I'm so off. <laughs> There's no question about it. All right, I'm going to grab my magnetic platform because that's just really off. So since I'm stamping and die cutting at the same time, I'm going to switch my platform over to a magnetic platform by Sizzix. A magnetic platform does not come with your machine. But what it does is it allows you to take a stamped image, put a die around it, and 
Where you put it, it stays so it doesn't move. So I can center it the way I want. And then it doesn't move. So if you are doing a lot of stamp and die cutting and you don't have a magnetic platform, oh my gosh, your world will change when you get one. <laughs> no more washi tape, no more posty notes, no more slipping. see what I can do yeah because it's me if I just take a little bit I don't know if the colors are gonna bleed it's because I'm using alcohol ink on top of alcohol ink and typically colors will bleed into each other uh, I don't know mm, they're staying in place it's not lifting the color. That's good to know. So it's not lifting it. Okay, well now I know. You're like, what? what did you do? What did you do? Well, it's only white paper, and if I don't try it, I can't tell you not to do this or, yeah, go ahead and do that. I think I am going to put this one back on. I think I am going to take some blue. And let's see what we get, and then we have to move on. We haven't even got to my favorite part yet. It's going to get there. A little more blue. Gosh, I could play with this and completely change its entire look. Just by using my alcohol inks. Who knew? Look at that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop because I could just, I would wanna go in there and finish all of this and add that and do the whole thing. But you see how easy it is and it's dry. We stamped with it. Let's try, let's, let's take the next one. Let's put that over there. Let's take a, just a straight stamp set. stamp. So this is a spellbinder stamp. I have maybe six or eight different spellbinder stamps that um, that need to go. So we're cleaning out the refrigerator and I'm putting them on. They're on a clearance sale. Well, they're part of the YouTube. So, um, so they qualify for expedited shipping, but I thought that they would be pretty. And what if we took our white paper And our gush mat. And and 
Maybe in the purple? I don't know. I haven't pulled out the purple yet, so why not try? Pretty color, right? Kind of spread it around. See what we get. And then up to you whether you want to do a back massage or you want to stamp straight down. Oh my God, that's beautiful. But my paper's got yellow on it. Holy smokes, artichokes. Can you see the iridescence? I have to get a different color. Uh, did, well, was that from my hands? Okay, I'm gonna do it on this side of the paper. Do you think I need more? I don't know. You think I've got enough on there to just try? So you've got this shimmer ink that's really meant for non-porous things. Oh yeah. Can you see the shimmer in there? Okay, so that's the purple. Put my lid on. Let's see it in. Let's see it in. Let's see what this color looks like. Now that I'm going to wipe this off, now that I've got it, the honeysuckle, let's just do one in honeysuckle. So while that's drying, I'm going to pull out my honeysuckle. I'm going to give it a good shake. So I get that pearlescence. It's new pad. Where's my little, where's my little, my little spatula? Oh, I had two in there. Sorry. Whole new pad, brand new. So I might do a little bit more because the pad is really new and it's just going to absorb right on in. All right, so I didn't cover the whole pad. Let's see what happens. gonna try. You know what? I'm gonna do a back massage. Maybe here. Oh, I needed a little bit more. 
But boy, I got that really close home. <laughs> I needed a little bit more. To get that pad going since it's it's its first try. Back to front, side to side. Let's see if that's better. This time I'll do it this way. Oh yeah, better. Pretty color. Isn't that a pretty color? And then it's up to me what I want to do with it. Do I want to go in? It's got that little bit of shimmer. Do I want to go in and use colored pencils with it? Purple looks amazing. Do I want to go in and paint with my alcohol inks? Do I want to use, gosh, alcohol markers on there? You'd want to be careful because you don't want to pull up that ink. You don't want it to blend too much. Colored pencils would be lovely. Even watercolor markers would be amazing with these. You really have options, but you've got an ink that has a shimmer to it. So pretty. Claire did a sample with the, the um, feathers in all different colors, but you can absolutely do this. And, and it, even though it's called stays in place, that's what it does. It stays in place. That doesn't mean you can't use it with other mediums like your Tombow markers or your violet uh, Violet Studio watercolor, you know, your watercolor markers or watercolor paints. What do you have? Colored pencils, Gamsol. What do you have that you want to go in and paint with just to fill it in? Or do you just want to leave it be? You have those options. So we've got oodles, oodles of these stamps. There's just a few where we've got them down to $4.99. I got oodles. They've got to go. I got to make room. What if we want to stamp on what this is called parchment paper? Parchment paper is really just a super thick vellum, a really heavy vellum. Okay, let me put this away. So there's my little lid and my little spatula there. So all parchment paper is at least my parchment paper or European parchment paper usually just means a really super, super thick vellum. Standard vellum is thin because it's meant to stay as translucent as possible. You use it often on invitations and things like this. Parchment paper is used more for a crafting hobby called Pergamano. Can you hear that? That tells you how thick this is. This is my vellum. And it is, gosh, is it nine? It's, um, it's uh, 90 pounds. That's heavy for a vellum. That's really heavy for a vellum. This is a heavyweight parchment. There's 10 sheets in here. And yes, it'll be part of the, of the YouTube yummies. So if you like heavier vellum, you want the vellum to have a little more substantial weight to it and to be able to do a little bit more with it because the thicker it is, the less it wants to do this. <laughs> vellum, when it gets wet, tends to want to curl. So if you use too much ink or too much of anything, it tends to want to curl. Now, vellum is a little challenging with paper uh, or with ink. You can't just pick any ink and use it with, with your vellum. It just doesn't, it just doesn't work. Maybe I grab, maybe I grab this one. It just doesn't work. You can't use a dye-based ink on vellum because vellum is a plastic substrate. So there's, there's plastic, it's a paper, but it's a plastic paper. And dye-based inks are never, never, never going to dry on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's grab that, let's grab that black. And let's see what that looks like. 
I'm just going to leave it right on my, my carrier. They call this little piece here that you usually peel off and throw away. I'm just going to leave it right there. And I'm going to cut a piece of my vellum. And again, it is thicker than the norm. Let's grab the matte black. It hasn't even been opened yet. So this would be comparable to um, the stays on black, but this is stays in place where you get the empty pad and the alcohol ink. And of course the alcohol ink you can use for many, many, many things. Got my little carrier. Now this is not a pearlescent, so I don't have to, I don't have to shake. There's, there's no ball in there telling me to shake it up. It's thick. It is not a typical Ranger alcohol ink. It's thicker, which allows you to stamp with it better. And once you get your pad started, you're pretty good to go. You don't have to add as much every time, but the first time. And yes, we do have the we do have just the ink. But I'll tell you for the little bit of price difference, at least on the first go round, I would buy it with the pad. That way you have it. There's not that much price difference actually. Okay, so I'm going to ink up my stamp. Yeah. Maybe a little too much around the edges, we'll have to see. So I've inked up my stamp. And now the easiest way to stamp vellum is upside down. This is the easiest way to stamp vellum. Why? Because you can see clearly where you have pressed hard enough and where you haven't. I can see that I haven't pressed hard enough there. I can see up here. I need to press a little harder. Stamping upside down on vellum gives you almost a perfect stamp almost all the time because you're clear where you need to add a little more pressure or where you don't. And once you're good, pull it up and you've got your impression. Pretty, let's do it one more time. Yep, that's big enough. And I'll add a little bit more ink, not as much as I was because I'm now getting, I'm building it up. So if you already have black stays on, do you need this pad? No, no you don't. <laughs> Your black stays on is going to do a beautiful job too. But I can't get a lot of these colors in stays on. So the stays in place really offers me the opportunity to have more colors than we've ever had before. And I like my yellow people. And it's a yellow, it's not a gold. And I like pinks and I like the purples. And they're the, the colors that we have in the middies from stays on are beautiful, but I like more. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna be good. Oh, that's even better. So my second impression is better than my first without question. 
Look at how clean and clear and crisp that is. And this is going to dry on the vellum. Whereas, see this one's not as clean and clear and crisp. Totally different. Second impression, much better. Probably should have stamped off since it was the first time using the stamp. But that's beautiful. And it's going to dry. Can you help it dry faster? You can. You can take your heat tool. Hello, heat tool. And give it a little heat to dry it a little faster. You don't want it to sit there on your vellum too long. You don't want to burn your vellum. But if you want to move it along a little faster so it dries, you can. Am I dry? Yep, I'm dry. Now what to do with it is up to me. Totally up to me. Let me put my lid back on. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to, okay, so I've got both of them. This one's almost dry. Is it dry? Mm, I'm going to give it just a, just a quick heat. That way I show you what not to do. Because sometimes knowing what not to do is more important than knowing what to do. Okay. So, this is my not fabulous one. This is my yay fabulous one. So I want to color it. I want to go in and color it. And I've stamped on vellum and it's dried. And let's just grab, let's grab the, let's grab the yellow. Why not? I give a little shake, shake, shake. And I drop a little bit on my craft mat one drop I'm gonna start with one drop because one drop seems to be enough for some of this I'm gonna grab my brush maybe get it just a little bit wet so I'm not using a dry brush go in there grab my color could I add a little alcohol ink to it if I or a little hand sanitizer if I wanted to kind of extend it just a little bit Sure, so I've got my color, can you see? Can you see my little color right there? And then I'm gonna come in. So this is the side I stamped on. So here's my Black Stays in Place ink. And I go in and I color. And I am making a mess. So on vellum, alcohol and alcohol are going to blend together and make a mess. It's pulling that black and blending it in. Where it didn't do it on our paper, where I was able to go in and, and it didn't pull the color on our paper and make a mess, it does make a mess on your vellum because vellum is non-porous. So that ink never had an opportunity to seep into something. It's laying on top. It's just dry on top where this, this has absorbed into the paper so that it doesn't move when you add more color. Sitting right on top, that's not gonna be, that's not gonna be pretty. You are not gonna be happy with that result. But, if by just taking and flipping my vellum over, clean my brush, because now I've got black and yellow going on. Clean my brush, maybe a little more hand sanitizer to clean my brush. If by just flipping it over, because the vellum is translucent, your color is gonna be seen through this side. You're gonna paint on this side, but you're gonna see it through this side. 
Let's take that yellow again. And drop, drop. And now I can go in and paint that yellow where I want it without fear of making a mess. And I can get it as intense of a yellow as I want. Little bit goes a long way. So I've painted to the back side. And now I can hit it if I want it to dry faster. It's close. And now you can see the yellow coming through. But it didn't distort my stamped image because I never added any color on top of my stamped image. I did it from behind. So how about that pink? Drop, drop, plenty. I did drop, drop, go in there, pick it up, and I'm coloring from behind. And that's going to be your best way to stamp and color on vellum when using any kind of alcohol. Could I do this with alcohol markers? Sure I could. Add a few little pinks up here. Maybe a pink over here and a pink there. And I'm just gonna put some randomly down. And then maybe I come in with the green. And we drop some green. And add some green in. All right. And with a few drops of ink, and not a lot of work, that's what it looks like on the back side, but that's not the side you care about. That's the side you care about. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> mm -hmm. And because his inks are just a little bit thicker than a typical alcohol ink, they have a little bit more brightness to their color. They're a little more intense. They've got the pearlescence if you want them. Yes, yeah, see, it wasn't quite dry yet, but that's okay. They have the pearlescence if, they want, if you want them. And yes, you could do the same thing with your alcohol markers if you wanted to. Absolutely. But let's move on. So then what if I take ooh, hmm, hmm, hmm. gosh that one would be pretty to do. 
Wouldn't that be beautiful? It's a color. What time is it? Well, let's just do it super quick. I'm going to take my black. I'm going to drop a few drops. You like you said you were going to move on. I know, but this one would be really pretty to color. Spread it around a little bit. Ink, ink, ink. Oh, plenty on here. I got plenty of black ink going on here. And I'm going to drop my vellum on there and you're going to see the image. As I add pressure, you see the image coming up. So I haven't had any pressure over here yet. Now you can see the whole image. Pull up, and there it is. Yay! Is it going to stain my stamp? Yes, it is going to stain my stamp. Can I get it off my stamp? Um, there are, there are. Um, stamp cleaners that will help take it off the stamp. I'm even, I mean, you can get some hand sanitizer on there, and if you're quick enough, it'll help. Really up to you. Hand sanitizer is not going to harm your stamp at all. This is a rubber stamp, so it is the hardiest of hardy of rubber stamps. And I'm almost clean. Okay, so have no fear. Hand sanitizer is here. <laughs> Let me put my spatula back in place. And then let's just give a quick heat set. And then let's turn over. And let's drop some color. Let me start with my green. And go in and paint. You just have to make sure you don't go outside the exterior lines of the design of the element that you're painting. That's the only thing you have to do is you don't have to worry about anything else. Just don't go out. And if you do, you just get a little, a little Q-tip with some hand sanitizer on it and wipe it away. Easy peasy. So now I've got some green. And I'm going to do some yellow. Clean my green. All I have to do is stay within the stay within the the perimeters of the eye of the image that I'm coloring, the part of the stamp that I'm coloring. That's all I have to do. And oh, I don't 
don't know. Maybe. Maybe some of my orange. I know they're leaves, but we're just gonna make them what they we'll make them whatever we want them to be. Green over here because that's a leaf. And that's a leaf. And too much green. Before you know it, you're almost you're almost all painted, and you can go back in and add any detail you want. Okay, easy peasy on that. Let's move on. So, what if we took a die? So let's clean the refrigerator day here at SMS. So yellow, pink. What if we took a dye? So I still have a few of these left, the love and the smiles. They retail for, gosh, I think they're $22 each. So $44 and we had them on sale for $9.99. These are from Creative Expressions. But what if I took the smile dye out? And I cut it out of my vellum. Die cut vellum? Absolutely. Why wouldn't you? So let's grab some more of my vellum, which is really parchment. If you're European, it's part of, you would consider it parchment paper because of the weight. And if you're here in the US, you're going to have a little trouble finding something this heavy in the way of vellum. Oh, I just want to cut the board out. Well, I can go this way. Am I too small? Stacy, my measurements today are not, not pristine by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna tilt on back a little bit so you can see a little bit better because I was really close in. Let's go back just a little bit. Bring my machine on over. This is not an intricate die, so I'm not gonna have to worry about using a precision base plate. I don't even have to use my magnetic plate if I don't want to, but it's here, so I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna line it right up line it right up like that and then I'm going to send it on through and cut oh did you hear that <laughs> you're like what was that well it's cutting plastic here let's do that again so you can hear that sound and not be <gasps> what did she just do Okay, I've got plenty. It's a good thing it's my vellum. Holy smokes. That was a good one. I'll figure out something to do with this excess. Okay, let's do it again so you can hear that again. Ready? It's plastic. We're working with plastic. And that plastic makes a different sound when it runs through your, your machines. Ready? I know it sounds bad, but it's actually good. That's the sound of die cutting happening. <laughs> OK, 
Come on, pop on out, pop, pop, pop. Oh man, I missed a cut. Right, th right there. Oh no, come on, out, out, out. Come on, out, out, out. It doesn't want to give it up. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. And then this one right down here. I don't think it's gonna let me do it. Ah, uh, come on. There we go. And right up here, oh, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, there we go, yay! It's a plastic, it's not a paper. So don't worry about the sound, the sound is gonna be okay. And then of course I'm left with the negative and my positive. I have both to play with. So let's put those there. And of course I can pull out, of course I can pull out my alcohol inks. Why couldn't I? And I could use them as more of a traditional alcohol ink this time. Why wouldn't I? How about, what colors do we like? We wanna do the purple? How about the purple? Yay. Cause the purple from, from stays on is really, it's, I'm not even sure it's really a purple purple, but oh my gosh, this color is beautiful. So let's get a dauber and little shimmer, little bit on there, not too much because I don't need too much. Oh, I didn't even have to do that, Stacy. Put it right on here. Let's go with a dauber. And then let's oh I think my purple might be too light bottom piece of a white paper so I can see what I'm what color I'm getting oh yeah super light purple but pretty and there I just took it all up okay I'm gonna stop and leave that now let's bring in another color. This has got green on it, but we're gonna go for it with a blue. Where did my little psh, psh, psh go? Anybody see my psh, psh? Oh, there it is. <laughs> did you get where I was going with the psh, psh, psh part? So don't put it on there. That's not where it needs to go. It needs to need to go on your on your. Oh, that blue. Oh, that blue. Oh, and now I'm, yes, the blue into the purple is working for me. Oh, isn't that pretty? Yes. Hey, I'm liking that. That blue is beautiful. I'm going to try and come back in. I want that purple just a little darker. Do you think I can get it a little darker without taking it off? Come on, lid. My gosh, that's sweet.
Look at how pretty is that? Can you see it's still wet? So you know what we can do while it's still a little bit wet? Ooh, yummy. Put my lid back on. And my lid. And my lid. What if I took just a little bit of glitter? There's my smile. And because it's alcohol ink and because it's tacky, you're going to be able to dust it with some glitter and you're not going to have to set it. The tackiness of the ink will be enough to hold it in place. That's what I should have done. And now my smile is glittered. Isn't that pretty? Look at how soft that is. So on black, And I'm white, black, white. Put all of this right back into my jar. Zoop. And we're good to move. Look at that. That's fat. And remember, I've got the little. I've got the little leftover pieces. So I've got this little piece where I could take the dies that come with it. So it's, you make me smile. I mean, I did a whole YouTube with these. We have some leftover, they've gotta go. I could line this up. Do I want it that size or do I want it bigger? It gives you two frames to go around it. So you can use one to cut it out, the negative, with a smaller frame. Back, back, back. Or you can use the bigger frame and give it more of a border around it. I think I might use the bigger frame and give a little bit more of a border. Well, hello, fly. Shoe, fly, shoe. Let's make sure that I've got it facing the right way. All right, I'm just gonna give that a whirl. Not sure how it's gonna cut, we're just gonna go. I don't know how centered I am, but we're just gonna let it go. Creaking and cracks are okay, cause I'm on vellum. Oh, but it didn't make any, look at that. All right. Oh, did I get close to the edge or what? Yay. <laughs> See, that's kind of funny. So now, now I've got the negative, which of course I can do something with. Uh, let's take and see, how about a color? How about, hmm, do we wanna use the antique gold? We want to use the silver. We want to use the rose gold. So this is the antique gold. And again, this is stays in place, not stays on. Two different manufacturers. 
Ooh, never been used. Ooh, two different manufacturers. We love our stays on, but they just don't have the breadth of color. Nor can you have a pearlescent or, well, did I, is it too late? Oh my gosh, this one. I have to say, this is beautiful. I really love this. That makes my heart happy. I don't know, I'm gonna have to make something with that. I really, really am happy with that one. So, so can I, can I get a piece of paper? I suppose we can just do it on this one. So I didn't shake it too much. Let's see if I still get a, a plain color out or if it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, yeah, I, sh I already shook it in. So it's, um, it's gonna be pearlescent to begin with. And you can feel the tack of it. And you can see how thick it is. That is not a typical alcohol ink. Oh no. Alcohol ink would be running everywhere. This is thicker. Now I'm going to get my pad started. And once you get it started, you don't have to add as much. Okay, let's see if I've got, do I want to stamp with it? Do I want to go over it? So now I've given my vellum a golden, an age golden color. You can buy vellum in this color. Gosh, and I almost could use this kind of as a background somewhere. Look at how beautiful that is. Do you see the shimmer and the shine? You can buy vellum this color, but now, now you can make it that color. Could I have done it with my spouncer? I could have. Here's my yellow one. Let's see how much yellow transfers. Let's do this one. This paper's just too big for me. Too big. Better. A little bit more. So it's your call how you want to get it on there. The first one I did with the ink pad, second one I'm using a spouncer, and it's not felt, it's foam. So I would absolutely use that without question. But I also have my smile in a metallic gold. But what, what if I then wanted to take, okay, metallic gold, what if I wanted to take my 
darker color. What if I wanted to take that bronze? That bronze was kind of dark, right? And it's a metallic. No, I'm gonna put it on my spouncer. One, two, ooh, thick, 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 thick. Think of that. Look at how beautiful is this. Oh my gosh. I love it. I do. So now I ombre that one with the bronze and the gold. And that looks amazing. Especially for guy cards. Okay, the metallics. The metallics are beautiful. Love them. Love them. Gosh, I wish I had. But I don't want to. I don't want to get the bronze everywhere. Do I want to go a little bit darker? You could. Could I go a little bit darker? I'm just on on the bottom. Could try. Just down towards the bottom, just to give a little more weight down there. And when I mean weight, I mean definition. So a little bit darker towards the bottom just so it has a so your your light is a little bit lighter because your dark is a little bit darker i love these they're beautiful they are they're beautiful and i just i i couldn't get them from from sukaniko they just don't make them and there's more to come i'm just playing with a few of the colors they have so many i'm just releasing a few of them we're doing, I think we'll probably do 12 at a time. Could I throw glitter on top of these? Yes, am I? No. <laughs> okay, you ready to move on? So pretty. So pretty. Yeah, see, then I have this one. I'm going to put those there. What if I just did this one? Yeah, like you already did that one. I know, but. What if I pulled. What did I do before? I did blue and purple. What if I do, what if I do, uh, I don't know, what do you think, pink and green? Would that be too weird? It's very springy. Well, let's try the purple one with a little bit of pink. And I'm not going to add too much. Why am I doing that, Stacy? I've got this right in my hand, and yet I still added it to my to my 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 stamp pad. Stop! I just want the ink because I'm going to spounce. Stop! Grab a little bit more on my spouncer. Tell me, Stacy, do it on your spouncer, not your ink pad. And then I know this might be a little weird, but 
weird is good. No judgment. We don't judge color. We love color. We embrace color. Per green. You're like, eh? <laughs> like, no judgment. We love color. We embrace color. There's a million shades in a rainbow. Million different shades. Embrace them all. To me, this says spring. Just a little bit more for my E. pink. Okay, give it up. I know. Let's just see what it looks like. I could die cut this out and put this against the, the black, I suppose. No, black's going to hide the color. You know, cute. I like the pink and the green. Okay. Okay. I'm moving on. Really, I am. Honest. Okay, next. What's the last thing I have for you today? The last thing I have for you today is the one thing that I had to, I had to wait to get. I had to buy a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit and a little bit because they never had, they never had, you know, more than 12 of them at a time. So I would buy, you know, 12 and then maybe, maybe they had 18 and I would buy 18. It's taken me like a year to get enough of this in. Ready? What is it? It is printed vellum. It's printed bed vellum by, I'm gonna say three quarter. Be prepared to swoon. I mean, really, be prepared to just absolutely go bonkers over this because it is absolutely stunning and it is so easy to use. You have your choice. You can color on the top side. You can color on the back side. You can use regular alcohol inks with this. You can use alcohol ink markers with this. You can use Ozzy Andrews stays in place alcohol ink with this. It is all about the options and this is so beautiful. I had to have it, had to have it. Had to have it. All these sheets are in there. Literally, all of these sheets are in this. And it's not that expensive. I don't know if it's $10 or $12. And then, of course, we'll have it on sale. But it's a printed vellum. And 
Oh my gosh. So I never, I didn't actually see it live and in person. I just, you know, I have to shop sometimes like you. I see the image online and I hope that it's as good as I think it's going to be. And, and this really, really is. I mean, it really is. I don't know which one I want to play with. Um, okay, well, we'll just start. So a couple different ways of using it. One, you can literally just cut it out and put it onto your card or your layout. I mean, you can literally just cut them in half and call yourself done. Put a fork in it and say done. Now, is this as thick as my vellum? No. Does it matter? No. I mean, my vellum is really thick. I don't know if you can see. There's definitely a thickness difference, but it's fine. It's printed. I'm not going to complain. Not one little bit. It's closer to the weight of a standard vellum, which might be maybe 28 pounds, 30 pounds. And whether you spounce on top or you you paint on top or you paint underneath, it's entirely up to you. So here, I've got one here with the butterfly, but then I've got two. I can either use this as a single or I can split it. and have two options aplenty. So I think I'm gonna start, and let's get some white paper. I think I'm gonna start by just doing some pretty color over the top of it, just bouncing. Now remind me not to put it on my ink pad, please. And I'm gonna start with my yellow, cause that's me. And I'm going to use Ooh, lots of ink in there. Um, well, that's the only other dauber I have here right now. So we're just going to go for it. Should have brought a whole bunch of daubers. Let's see what color I get. Oh, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Now I'm right over the top of it. I'm not doing the back side. That is the front side. That's the back side. It has not quite as high of a gloss on the black image. The front side has a little bit, it's a little bit darker in its image, but I'm just gonna go. I got a little goldy in here, but that's okay. We'll be okay with a little goldy. See, that's my yellow. So I'm just kind of going haphazard, random around. I'm not trying to be precise or careful or care for that matter. I just want to get some color down. And that's where I'm at just coloring. Then I can go to my next color. And I think we'll take my pink. I don't think I'm going to shake it up much. And same thing, I'm just going to get some color down. to be haphazard about it and kind of random. And I'm not necessarily spouncing, I'm just kind of wiping it on. And that's where I am so far. 
And then I think I'll just do one more color to balance it out. And we'll do a blue. See, I didn't pull it, I didn't even take the ink pads out this time. That way I don't accidentally ink it up. And with just a few colors, straight on the vellum, because it needs to be something that's going to dry. That's going to be important. You can't use a dye-based ink. It's not going to dry. I've inked it up. It's good to go. Now it's a little wet. You can see that it's wet. You can heat set if you want. If I chose to, I could take and put some of my glitter over it. You've got some of the iridescence coming through. And that's just a super easy way to use this. I could have done just all one color. Absolutely. But it's beautiful. But what if I wanted to be more specific? about where I put my color. Can I do that too? Yep. So let's start with my yellow. Let's grab a paintbrush. Get that paintbrush a little wet. Put a little down. And now I can go in and paint with my paintbrush. And where that black is, it's kind of going to resist the ink. Can I paint on the back side? I can. It will dull your color a little bit. It'll be a little more muted. And then let's do some pink. I know I had my pink right here. A little drop. I don't know. Well, let me go back just a little bit. Just so, oops, that's not back at all. Here, where's my hand? Nope, I'm still not there yet. There. That's the drop I did. It's so small of pink. And you've got the beautiful translucent nature of the vellum mixing in with the beautiful colors of the slightly thicker alcohol ink. And I'm literally just going to blend them on there. And then since we've got the blue here, little bit off and just kind of melt them together and melt them together stronger colors if I want a little more stronger colors take a little bit of it off and then just kind of melt them together really making those colors just pop
You can absolutely just paint right on it. I got rid of some of my yellow by accident. Ooh, I like that. And you just go until you're done. Problem is knowing when you're done. <laughs> and then if you really don't like it, what if you look at it and you go, nope, it's just not, it wasn't what I was going for. It just wasn't. If you're like, meh. And you start again. You're like, wait, what did you just do? Now you can see it's starting to curl. It's because I added, I added some wetness to it. So I'm just going to kind of leave it flat and keep it flat and then come back. I could try and paint on the back side if I didn't like the front side so much. And you're like, wait, what did you just do? See, I'm just going to hold it down flat, give it a chance to dry a little bit. And this time I'll paint on the back. So as long as I stay within the borders of the item that I am coloring. So I just need to stay within the borders of the butterfly. Of course, I just ran into my ink. So I just need to stay within the borders of my butterfly. I'm just putting yellow all around. And then maybe I come back and I hit it with in just certain places, hit it with some blue. And because I'm on the back side, I just go everywhere that makes my heart happy. As long as I stay within the border, the, the border of the butterfly. Paint on the front side, paint on the back side. Whatever it is that makes your heart happy. Maybe I add a little green. I haven't changed my brush. I'm just going with it. Tad more yellow. Okay, I have no idea what it's going to look like until I turn it around. And it's wet. Can you see it's wet? So if I want to quicken that up to dry a little bit, hit it with my heat tool. Flip it around. All right. You can do this. And if I don't like it, I can wipe it off. I might not do anything else. Or maybe I come back. Maybe I come back and maybe I spounce.
You're like, don't do it, don't do it. Maybe I spounce with the pink. So let me back it up just a little bit since we're not, oh, that's not backing up. So I put a little bit of pink. I just spounce. Pink's not quite dry yet. But how pretty is that? The ink is cool. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very cool. I had asked Ozzy Andrew for, for inks that were like a stays on because they were limited in colors. And he went out and this is what he made. And I, I, can't, I can't believe how beautiful it is and how versatile it is because it's just a little bit thicker than a standard alcohol ink, letting you stamp with it with ease. Oh my gosh, you can thin it out if you wanna use it more traditionally. But even then, I mean, these are just beautiful. And this paper is beautiful it's up to you what you want to do with it so we're bringing out 12 colors to begin with i've got two bundles the metallics and kind of the pastel -y, more springy colors since that's the season that we're in but look at all the different things all the different things that we did with them Look at on the, using this as the stencil. Look at that shimmer and that shine. Uh, look at it in the, the beautiful metallic colors. That smile looks great in the bronze and the antique gold. And we stamped. And we painted with it so that if you don't, if you have stamps, not, you know, it's hard to find vellum that's pre-printed, but if you have stamps and vellum and alcohol ink, you've got magic. And look at that smile. All of these things we did today. All the way back here. Remember way back here? And just on paper, on normal paper. This was white, it was white paper, and I just took the alcohol inks and used them to color it. Backed it in the black. Added the color there. I mean, all of this is available to you. And I didn't use a lot of different things. And some of this you are already going to have in your crafty stash. You might already own this set. You may have something that you're like, oh, I can use this and do this with. You might already have my thick vellum or a thick parchment vellum. Now you can see how to use an alcohol ink pad to stamp with the vellum and then color it in. Color it on the back side to make it look beautiful on the front. This and this are the same. 
this is just pre-printed for you and this is using the stamps that you own. There was tons of options in this class for sure. And maybe a little bit of something for everybody. Not every technique or everything I showed might have spoken to you. Heavens no. Well, it might have. I don't know. But but if there's something here that sparked your curiosity or said, you said, I didn't know I could do that with or I forgot I could do that. Well, then this is then this has been time absolutely well spent love it and then my glitter is on it's beautiful it's all about using what you have and incorporating every now and then something new that speaks to you i love the printed vellum i do and since it's clean out the refrigerator day here at scrapbooking made simple things like older stamp sets that we still have that retail for i don't know 12.99 14.99 They've got to go, so they're $4.99. we got to say goodbye to them. Absolutely. Or, or things from Creative Expressions. Here, wait a minute. So, okay, so what's on sale? Let me show you what's on sale, and then let me... So from Creative Expressions, see, this is a clean out the refrigerator day. This is where the smile came from. It's the two set. We still have a few left. I need room in the warehouse. I think they retailed for a little over $44. Your price is $9.99 per set. Pretty, right? Pretty. They got to go. And then Creative Expressions, because they had to clean out the refrigerator day and because I really wanted the stamps and the dies, they put two sets together for you. They are not the same die set and they will not work together. These are not a mix and match. But you've got this beautiful set here with a beautiful die to go with. And I don't know, it's, it's half price, whatever it was, it's at least 50% off. And then same here. And we have very limited quantities of these. I wanna let you know that. And then I have the three quarter vellum that made my heart happy that I had to buy a little bit at a time because I never could get quite enough. I've got my parchment paper on sale. I have got the blending tools from Woodware on sale. And then of course the alcohol ink pads. Yes, we'll have the reinkers and you can buy just that, but I just can't see the point of not having the coordinating pad to go with it, at least on your your first go round. Then you just have to buy the reinker, but you always want the pad. That's what gives you the options to stamp. So in the metallics, it's got copper, it's got Arctic white, it's got rose gold, it's got bronze, it's got star, sterling silver, and antique gold. And they all have that, they have that option to either be a straight color or a pearlescent color. Same with the summery pastel-y kind of colors I pulled for you. I went with honeysuckle and lilac and sunflower and baby blue and pink diamond and apple. Trying to find some colors that you wouldn't already have in your your stays on collection because these colors are just hard to come by and they don't really do the metallics so that's what's on sale and and also the black i think we have a couple blacks on sale let me show you some samples oh i got stuff everywhere what's new right <laughs> Ooh, see Look at the beautiful job that Claire did on this where she stamped it and then she went back in with the pearlescence and she painted it in. Oh yeah, great job, beautiful. Um, this is with the pre-printed vellum. Oh my gosh, all of it's done with the, with the stays in place ink. All of it is done with the stays in place ink. That's the only ink we used was the stays in place. 
I know. I think this is one of the Spellbinder stamps. I know, right? Right on the vellum. Stamped on the vellum and fussy cut out and colored in. Colored in with the alcohol inks, die cut, alcohol inked and glittered. And then the You Make Me comes with the smile. Right? Oh, so good. So this one again. So here you've got it on paper where they've used the ink. You've got some of the, um, this is the, so they inked the, the back, the front, and it's the vellum. So it's on back on, it's backed with a white paper. And then we paint it in and just kind of inked all over the place with the, hmm, hmm maybe this is the, I don't know what color this is. <laughs> I'm thinking this might be the honey, honey, honeycomb actually, but I, it might be the rose gold. I'm not sure which color they used. And then hand painted that in, and that's not wet. That's dry and it has a gloss to it. So pretty. And then look at this one. Again, stamped on the vellum. Hand just colored in with the the alcohol inks and a paintbrush. You've got the a sentiment die cut here. It's beautiful. That's the one of the creative. That's the creative expressions one that I did not use today. This is the vellum. This piece right here is the vellum. An honorary SMS girl Patty was just playing with the colors and colored them in. And then she tossed it aside and said, oh, I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. And then honorary SMS girl Katie picked it up and said, well, I'm going to make something beautiful out of it. And that is the pre-printed vellum with the stays in place alcohol ink just painted on it. Yay. And then remember I told you Claire did such a beautiful one with the feather. This is one of the Spellbinder stamps that I have for you. And she stamped the whole background. And you can see that there's a sheen to the feathers because she used the stays in place ink. And then she stamped on the vellum and she painted in. So that stamp set is on sale. And then we have, oh, so gorgeous. So this is out of the butterfly set, uh, sheet from the pre-printed three-quarter vellum pack. She colored them. She fussy cut them out. Beautiful, right? I know. Again, from the three-quarter vellum pack, oh, three-quarter vellum pack, colored it, added some embellishments. Creative Expressions, the stamp and die set, colored in, stamped with the stays in place, and then colored in on paper, just on white paper. Pre-printed vellum from three quarter, done with the metallics. Oh! Look at how pretty. Again, I know you're like, but that I didn't see that color. You did. It's the pink, and it's been toned down with hand sanitizer. You did see these colors. And there's the dye out of vellum. That's a stamp. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. That stamp. Which is a part of? Oh, there it is. That stamp is part of the set that has that one. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And then cut with the vellum. That, that's the Creative Expressions die. And then you have the Creative Expressions love. This is a stamp. You're like, no, I didn't see it. I know it's here. <laughs> I didn't use it. It's this one. Creative Expressions. This is out of vellum and colored in with the ink. All right, you guys. 
We did a lot. We did a lot. We did a lot. I told you this is technique based. I try to make my classes have, there has to be a teachable moment in them. If there's not a teachable moment, then there's really no reason. Then I'm not teaching you something. I'm just, I'm just showing you product. And well, you've got HSN for that. <laughs> They do an amazing job with it dices, it slices. I mean, and, and Q, uh, well, QVC, they do an amazing job. I used to sell to QVC. I used to go to QVC studio like 10 times a year. And I mean, they are the masters of getting it in and getting it off in, in, in three minutes flat. You've got, a, you've got 15 minutes to make your mark. And gosh, you can't really teach anything in that time. You can show it off and you can kind of show how to use it, but to really get the most out of a product, it needs to be a class. And for me to do a class, there has to be a teachable moment. I just don't pick random product willy nilly. I am so picky, <laughs> so picky. And manufacturers can't do a thing to convince me to do a YouTube with their product eyes not a thing and they will tell you that if you ever run into ta-da it's taylor or ozzy andrew or or nicole at spellbinders or anybody they will tell you yeah no she, she does what she wants to do when she wants to do it <laughs> and that's because i value you and i value your time and i value your creativity and i value that 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 you, you have a budget. <laughs> so if you saw something you liked here, yay. If you learned something here today, that's even better. It is not so, it's not about what you buy. It is about what you do. So if you now feel like you've got to go grab your stays on because you've got stays on and you want to, you want to stamp and, and ink on the back, Great if you want to add to your stays on collection of colors with new stays in place by Couture Creations. Great if you want to get out your alcohol inks and, and do something with them and then throw some glitter on it and see if it holds. Great. You do what makes your heart happy as long as you keep creating. All right. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. I will see you on Monday at 5 p.m. sunny California time, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern for our next Make It Monday event. That is where we offer you between $80 and $100 most often. This last bundle was $105. A beautiful product for $19.99. For some reason, it just didn't sell. It, the manufacturer ordered too much. It, it was late for, for the season. Whatever it is, they've got it, and now we've got it. And then offering it for $19.99 means that you can have it. All right, you guys, I'll see you then. Until, until then, until Monday. It's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Bye. <laughs>